Whew, okay, I am seriously running late. This whole entire time, I'm thinking that my mic is on. I have like a this mic that I used to have and I'm finally using it again. So like, I thought it was on. Girl, no, it was not on the whole entire time. So I had to refilm everything that I was just talking about. So girl, I hope I'm not, well, I'm probably definitely gonna have to rush because it's 6.11 and I have to be somewhere at seven o'clock. So I'm probably gonna be late, but you know, we showing up fashionably late and that's just what that is. If you have been struggling with razor bumps, hyperpigmentation, like the darkness and everything down there, um, I don't know, do you call that hyperpigmentation or like discoloration? I don't really know what they call it, but the darkness down there, razor bumps, ingrown hairs, redness, itchiness, irritation, strawberry look on your downstairs area and also on your behind. You gotta watch this video because girl, I have been struggling for the longest. Let me tell you, sis, like for real. I have seriously been struggling so bad, like my whole entire life. Like all the girls, I would be sitting around the table and they would all be talking about shaving and stuff like that and how females are nasty if they don't if they don't shave. I'm like, actually that's not true. Please get that out of your mind if you don't want to shave and if you do not feel comfortable to shave or if you're parents told you that you are not supposed to be shaving right now then just do not do it because it's there for a reason okay but for the girls that are wanting to shave and they want to know the proper way how to do it without getting all of the above all the terrible stuff that be happening all the discoloration and all. if i say all of the above i am talking about razor bumps redness irritation strawberry look darkness all of that all of the above because that all have, happens from shaving and not everybody can afford wax waxes are mad expensive sorry about that and waxes hurt like a mug so like not everybody's trying to go through that okay so we're just going to go over how to achieve the perfect shave without the bad outcome the all of the above okay girls will be sitting around the table talking about shaving and i'm just like I don't want to ask them because it's embarrassing, but how are y'all shaving without getting any razor bumps and all of the above? Like, how are you... Because when I do, it's like fire red and it's like super irritated and I'm just like a mess. So, can you teach me? But I wasn't going to say nothing because it, it was really embarrassing. So, that's why when I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to help some so many females, but I hadn't mastered the shaving yet. Girl, I mastered it. I mastered it. I have been investing into so many different products and I finally found the most perfect simple kind of routine I'm not gonna ramble any longer but I do want to tell y'all okay my perfume of the day I cannot stand Gucci perfumes I think they stink yeah but Gucci bamboo goes crazy Gucci bamboo is absolutely amazing you have to try it out and then on my birthday I went and bought like a few new perfumes so I picked up this Gucci guilty first of all sis why is this 1.7 ounce and it, it was a hundred and five dollars really crazy but the girl said that her friend sprays this and when she goes to do her laundry she can still smell the perfume so it's like this pink bottle like the Gucci guilty pink bottle I don't really know what the name was um so we just gonna say Gucci guilty pink bottle I have kind of talked about my shaving routine it has changed a little bit but I have actually talked about my shaving routine a lot on my channel but I just wanted to go ahead and make a full video about it so that if you guys ever needed help or needed somewhere to go back to there is a full video on it you don't have to look for a certain video that it's not put in the title or in the thumbnail and you know y'all get what I'm saying everything will be linked in the description down below so it will be super easy to go ahead and check out these products but your girl trust me y'all have to try out y'all have to try this out like because <laughs> people be like just shave with conditioner just shave with oil just shave with olive oil just do this just do that and then none of that stuff worked for me so here we go the first thing that I want to go ahead and say is that honestly you're gonna get the most easiest best shave if you do shave at the end of your bath not in the beginning not in the middle at the very end after your whole entire body is cleaned and everything because you don't want little hairs going in your bath it's just nasty but the hair follicle is super soft and like it really just helps with all of the above or at the end of your shower but at the end of your bath is way better because you've been soaking but Lately, it's just been at the end of my shower because I honestly, baths are, if you str if you are struggling with like behind odor, downstairs odor, all of the above, wait, that's a different all of the above. You get what I'm saying. Body odor, period. Baths are going to literally change your whole entire life. But if you're not a bath person, and lately I've been getting really lazy with them, shower at the end of your shower is when you want to shave your downstairs area. You don't want to shave it in the middle, in the, in the beginning, nothing. At the end, okay? Just listen to me, okay? Every other day I get my exfoliating gloves. You can wash these, they're reusable. Every other day I get my exfoliating gloves. I put an unscented baby soap or an unscented bar soap. Get them real soapy. Put them on my hands every other day. And I'm very rough. I'm not gonna hold y'all up because I hated the darkness. I hated all the stuff that was going on the strawberry look. Exfoliation really helps with that. I'm actually pretty rough. So the only time that I have redness down there is when I get done exfoliating. I just basically exfoliate like this all over it. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. If you do not exfoliate, girl, you might as well throw your whole entire routine down the trash down the garbo do not use sugar scrubs i used to but they can honestly lead to yeast infections because they have sugar in it 
Do not use sugar scrubs. Use exfoliating gloves because you are morally in control when it's just like your hands. I wouldn't suggest like an exfoliating washcloth. I mean, if that's what you have, do it. But I do suggest exfoliating gloves because you're really in control and you can get every single spot. So everywhere that you are planning on shaving, your behind, your downstairs area, everywhere that you are planning on shaving, make sure that you are exfoliating. Now, there's a lot of controversy on what you should be shaving with. Like you should be using conditioner, you should be using oil, you should be using baby oil gel. Girl, I tried it all. Coconut oil works very good but this right here I'm not really sure what they formulated this product with but you gotta click the link in the description or you can look it up I do not like the name I feel like the name is like super raunchy I don't really like it but you gotta make sure it's the plus one and this pink one is the only one that I've tried so this pink one is the only one that I trust but this right here is the bomb.com girl you have to have it I honestly oh my gosh I'm like mind blown I've tried a lot of different intimate shaving creams but this one just tops them all because it's just like perfection so I get a few pumps of this and I work it in you know work it in I'll rub it in rub it in so that it's all worked in and you know more effective so I don't just slap it on there real quick I'll try to work it in a little bit work it in work it in it's basically for your downstairs area I also use it for my underarms because sometimes I get ingrowns and bumps down I mean in my underarms but it's basically a moisturizing pH balance intimate shave cream you have to try it for your behind and for your downstairs area and also for your underarms if you do get irritation underneath your arms like me I don't consider any of this optional I'm not gonna say that none of this is optional at all every single one of these things came together to make the perfect routine because if I were to take out one of these items in my shaving routine I can promise you my results are not going to be the best like my type of results that I like. So this razor, I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture of it up on the screen. It is the new Venus Pubic Hair and Skin Razor. Honestly, this video is not sponsored. All I know is that this razor has ch honestly changed my feminine game or whatever. This, like every single product that I'm about to show you guys has changed my game for real. I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description down below. Honestly amazing, it's a very, I used to use men's razors, but this one is topping them all day in day. And I'm gonna tell you why. You don't wanna use any regular razor. I mean, I know this is a little bit pricey, Just it's just a very good investment very gentle you know how like a lot of razors just feel really harsh super gentle gets all the hair and seriously is for your downstairs area like it was created for it like I love it so much what you don't want to do like ever is shave up let's say this is your downstairs area never shave up because it doesn't matter if you're shaving up throw the whole entire routine away throw the whole entire routine away that was the problem that was the mistake that I was making my whole entire life you only want to shave downwards and if you're gonna go side to side make sure you have a bunch of shaving cream slathered on there and you go very very gently if you're going side to side go super slow with a bunch of shaving cream so that you can prevent those razor bumps because that can also create razor bumps and irritation and ingrowns because your hair is growing downwards and if you're shaving sideways or upwards it's out of the direction and that that's what creates all of the above but I still go sideways because it looks cleaner and it looks better and it does eliminate more hair so I had to make sure that I have a lot of shaving cream when I'm doing that and I go very slow. Now, for the sides of your downstairs area, what I suggest doing is going like this. Like going side to, like going like this. Not this way, but this way. This way. Going in like this. All the way down. Because it just is hard to get the sides when you're going down. I just go in like this, never out. I go in. I also go very slow, very gentle. If you're gonna go fast, you're kinda asking for razor bumps. So if I'm in a rush, girl, then I'm not gonna shave because <laughs> You gotta go very, very, very slow to be careful. After I get done shaving, I go ahead and clean myself, blah, blah, blah. I clean myself after I get done shaving. Why? Because I don't want any little hairs to be down there to poke me or irritate me. And um, you wanna wash off any leftover product that was in there. A lot of people ask me, how do you shave the inside of your downstairs area, like the inside where the creases are? You just open it up with your hands. And I personally do not use any shaving cream in there at all. I just put it underneath the water so that I don't get any razor bumps. I put my downstairs area underneath the water, the running water. Open Open it up and I just shave downwards inside. I just shave downwards inside. All you know, blah, blah blah. Open it up underneath the water, shave downwards. That's all you gotta do. I'm currently trying to pop off these nails, so do not mind my nails looking a little crazy right now and dusty. But I'm so mad that I did not include this in the video. So I got my razor right here. I want to talk about the behind because you can get razor bumps and all that extra stuff on your behind as well. Let's say this is your behind. Very weird picture, I know. You're shaving inwards 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 towards the actual butthole okay you're shaving inwards you're not shaving 
outwards you're not shaving up or down that will all lead to razor bumps the direction that your hair is growing that i recently found out it's going inwards so let's say this that this is like your butt and that's the crack right there you're gonna go inwards 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 i literally had to squat all the way down to the shower like i'm talking like like a leapfrog like i'm literally down like a leapfrog all the way down and very slowly i go inwards 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 and i'm very 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 careful that is the only way that i have found to shave back there with out getting in your razor bumps it's all about what direction you're shaving your hair in what cream you're using and you know the aftershave stuff that i'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys in one minute now you're fully shaved because you want to make sure everywhere is shaved like you don't want little patches of hair everywhere so you do got to open up little places and get in there blah blah, blah. do what you got to do it's your body you need to feel comfortable because it's your body whatever you need to do whatever i need to do to master my hygiene i will do i used to feel very uncomfortable because it's like nobody has to do this but your body's not everybody else's body now i get out of the shower i get paper towel i don't have any paper towel with me but just let's pretend this was paper towel okay i get paper towel and i pat dry all in the inside all on the outside pat dry it then i go to my behind i pat dry everything pat dry everything and girl okay i thought all this other stuff that i was using was good i finally invested into this it's at target link is in the description i finally invested because everybody was raving about it girl you need it but there's a way to use it people say put it on a cotton round please never put this on a cotton round people be for real saying put it on a cotton round so i tried to put it on a cotton round no baby you gonna have cotton down there like you'll literally have cotton all around because it just sheds what i do with this this is called 10 skin solution this stuff is so fire it has a very strong isoprol alcohol smell to it because it has a lot of that in there but it's not just isoprol alcohol there's so many different ingredients and it really does help with all of that like i'm telling you you will not have any thing i put my hand right here to block any of the solution for getting from for getting in my downstairs area and i just squirt a line and it runs down but your hand is blocking it so it doesn't get inside your downstairs area i just squirt a line at the top it runs down i start rubbing it all in between not in the inside just on the sides the outside the outside now on the inside sorry my knees be cracking when i've been down or whatever not on the inside on the outside run a line your hands blocking it instantly you just want to go ahead and rub it everywhere that you shaved but not on the inside and when you're going to put it on your behind please be in control because it can slip down to the, down there to your actual hole that's not good that is how i do that that's how i use this girl when i tell you you won't have no issue down there at all last but not least because that is actually pretty drying and this actually moisturizes me it is the omv remind you i don't use no summer's eve i don't use no vagisil i don't really like products like that so it was very shocking and surprising that i was able to find a product by vagisil that i love this also helps with all of the above it just says bikini anti itch serum but it helps with all the above except for like the darkness you know it is called omv by vagisil super cute packaging it's the bikini anti-itch serum it soothes your bikini area and intimate area and it has like collodial collodial i don't know oatmeal is ph balance it does have fragrance but it does not go inside it only goes on the outside this serum really helps with like redness inflammation any itchiness and it also helps to moisturize after you just got done doing that i keep forgetting what this junk is called 10 skin yes 10 skin after i get done with that i go ahead blow it make sure, wait till it dries i put some of the serum on wait till this dries you also want to go ahead and put it in your behind area like all over where you would usually get bumps and everything put this all over let it dry and you are done. Um, but that is my shaving routine. And when I tell you guys, this routine has honestly changed my life. Like I'm honestly so much more secure and I know that when I go to shave, like girl, I'm gonna have good results. What I would do back in the day is I was like, I'm gonna shave, you know, cause you know, I want to, but I can only enjoy it for like the first couple hours because I'm just gonna be fiery red and irritated and the next five hours or when I wake up the next morning it's gonna be bad so yeah and then I would be like out and about and like it would be itching and like hurting and it was just really annoying and I'll be like I'm never shaving again and then I would try to do it again you know girl we ain't got time for that I just thought it would be a perfect idea to go ahead and share my routine with y'all but I love every single one of you guys God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's time for you to go ahead and head up out of here I actually have like a church thing to go to tonight tonight so